Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make some garlic breadsticks. These are very similar to the breadsticks they serve at Olive Garden. And my boys saw that I was going to make these and they were excited because they are very, very good. So I'll do my best to record. It's sometimes hard to record um, making bread, but I will definitely explain everything the best I can. So I have one and a half cups of very warm water and I'm going to pour that into a bowl and I'm going to add either one package of active dry yeast or two and a quarter teaspoons. And then I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of sugar and I'm going to stir that together and let it sit for 10 minutes covered. So I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and it will get nice and frothy. While I'm waiting for that to get nice and frothy, I'm going to measure out four and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and one tablespoon of salt in the bowl of my stand mixer. And then I'm also going to melt two tablespoons of butter. Okay, this is nice and frothy and I measured out all of my ingredients and I melted my butter. So I'm going to add this yeast mixture to the flour and salt here and add the melted butter. You're going to use the dough hook for your stand mixture. If you do not have a stand mixer, you could use a wooden spoon and mix everything together. But if you are using a stand mixer, you're going to mix it all together for a few minutes until it's smooth and elastic. Okay, my dough is all mixed together, so it's nice and smooth and it's still elastic. So that's the texture you're looking for. I have my cookie sheet here and I sprayed it really well with olive oil. You can use cooking spray, but make sure you grease it so that your breadsticks aren't going to stick. And you're just going to pull off um, kind of smaller pieces of dough and just roll them. They are going to double in size, so don't pull off a piece that is too large. So I have mine about this um, size and you're going to do that with all of your dough and lay it out on your cookie sheet. You might even need two cookie sheets because these, like I mentioned, are going to double in size. So once you have them all um, rolled out, you're going to cover them and let them rise for an hour. And that's a good time to make whatever else you're going to make. I'm going to make some homemade soup, so I'm going to roll mine out and then I'll make the soup and then I'll um, bake these. Okay, I have some of mine ready. I'll need two cookie sheets. And you're just going to want to spray a piece of plastic wrap with some cooking spray or olive oil so that it isn't going to stick to your dough. And then just lay it tightly over top and that will help your breadsticks to rise. Okay, here are my breadsticks. They were a little fatter and I just stretched them out a little bit just to be um, more in the shape of a breadstick. So um, they only really took about 40 minutes to rise, so you can just kind of check. Um, I did have them in a warm, warm spot, so um, anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and um, what I'm going to do is melt one stick of butter with a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to pop these in the oven for six to seven minutes, and then I'm going to take them out and brush them with half of the butter mixture, put them back in the oven for six to seven minutes, and then brush them with the other half of the butter mixture. Okay, my breadsticks have baked for six minutes, and then I'm going to brush them with the mixture, which was a half of a stick of butter, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of salt and you're just going to brush each one and then you're going to pop them in the oven again for six to seven minutes and then brush them with the other half of the butter mixture. Okay, here are the breadsticks. I ended up baking them for the first six minutes, brushing them with the garlic butter mixture and then I baked them actually for another nine minutes. They weren't quite done at seven minutes and then brush them with the remaining garlic butter. So they're all set now. Um, this recipe actually made 14 uh, breadsticks. I'm just showing one pan because I'm also recording a soup recipe right now. So this is the breadsticks, they're so good. And as you can see, they're not really that difficult to make. So I hope you'll give them a try. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. Thanks so much for watching.